The DMR meta is back in Warzone 2. And trust me, man, this thing slaps. We're using this Cronin Squall setup, building it like a DMR. And bro, this thing absolutely shreds. You guys will see in this video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, like, comment, subscribe. And of course, man, enjoy the video. But let's go. Let's go back to the castle. We're going to try and use this DMR build on the Cronin Squall, bro, because seen a video or two on this thing and like, wow. Where do you think you're going, bro? Bag, what? You did not almost have me. Good try, though. Oh, no. We're doing way too much wiping. Wait. When you kill someone with temper, does it not drop their vest? Like, he had tempered. Does it not drop his vest? That's so... That is crazy. I actually didn't know that. Not unless I am legit blind. Oh, oh his boys aren't even going to challenge here because they're fighting people. I'm telling you, bro, this Cronin Squall DMR build is nasty. I legit, legit just two tap that kid. I feel like I can challenge legit anything. Like, I feel like I can just challenge so many things because I know I'm going to win the gunfight because, well, I have first shot and it's literally two tapping. You're not getting away, bro. No, thanks. Not allowing that to happen. Where's the loadout? Can't see it because I'm freaking county UAV'd. Bro, we're just frying right now. I know they just landed in somewhere here. Wait, oh god, our loadout's all the way over there. We gotta go grab that, man. I just really wish it wasn't $20,000, bro. I feel like that's still just a bit, a bit too much, man. Is that AI? Definitely is AI. Definitely AI. Priceless. I value target down. Yes, sir, they are. Now, there was a lot of people coming in from over here, so hopefully we can catch a few of them. So, still sounds like it's, they're fighting over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No way that didn't give me anything. You're literally dead, bro. Bro, now we got my single shot weapon back. We was going kind of crazy there before we got oh so rudely interrupted by the opponents. Oh, now we get blessed with a tempered gun. A tempered vest, I should say. I would love a UAV or something right now, though. You hear that game? Give me a UAV. Streamer loot. I swear I just seen people in here.
I gotta push this. Dude, my dog is freaking out. No way, my, my teammate just got taken out. Well, my mama dates. Bro, this thing, this gun is actually nasty. Literally in just the corner right here. Not a durable. Jesus, man, 38, holy Christ. All right, man, on the Cronin Squall loadout here for the muzzle, I got the Saken Tread 40. This is gonna help with our horizontal and our vertical recoil control. This thing does have a little bit of kick to it, even when you're using it in the single fire thing that I'm using it on. So, I mean, this is definitely gonna help out hitting those shots at the longer ranges, so definitely throw this on. Heading on over into our next attachment, it's gonna be the barrel. We're gonna be using the HR 6.8 barrel. This is just the best barrel to use on the Cronin Squall. This really boosts that damage range, bullet velocity, and the recoil control. Throws on a little bit of hip fire accuracy, but that's really not that big of a deal since we're using this, like, as in a long range weapon so hip firing will be kind of obsolete all right so the optic is totally personal preference for me i like to use the chrono mini pro whatever you guys want to use just go right ahead if you guys are more comfortable using like a chrono mini dot or like a slimline pro uh go right ahead and use that but for me i just like rocking the chrono mini pro so that's what i went with in today's video i'm then also rocking the sab comb for the extra sprint to fire and aimed on sight speed this thing is a little slower it is classified as a battle rifle and usually in this game those are typically a little slower so having this speed boost on here for the extra sprint to fire and the aimed on sight speed is definitely a bonus in my book and then today i'm rocking the 30 round magazine here usually you'd see me rock the 50 if i was going to use this thing full auto but since i'm using it as the single shot 30 is plenty of bullets in the magazine especially when you get your perks and you get like fast hands and stuff reloading will be super quick and you'll be able to take out multiple enemies with one magazine if you guys have to and yeah man that's the end of the class up in video i hope you guys enjoyed it man if you guys did like comment and subscribe it's been excellence i'll catch you in the next one man peace out mm -hmm.